Hello again, it's Jessica, and um, thanks for joining me today. I've got a another journal completed that um, I want to flip through, and um, I hope that you uh, find it inspiring. This journal I made using the Candy Retro um, paper pad. I don't think that this one is still available anymore. I can't find it. Um, or I would buy another one because it's got some really cute papers in it. And when I got this one, actually, it was the only one I could find. So, um, I don't know. You Maybe you can find it at your Michaels, but they don't have it around here anymore. So first, I'm going to just... Um, show you some of the papers that are in here. And I have been stamping today. I've got a little ink on my fingers. And that one's the one I used for the um, cover. It's really cute. And this one's really 70s. And there's some old radios. having um, a lot of fun actually using these hot by paper pads kind of takes the guesswork out of piling the papers because they're all right here and they get they do go together so you can, you can put a journal together uh, pretty quickly this is a really cute paper this one I actually didn't use even though it's really cute and retro. And this one, I was able to save one piece of paper so that I can make one more journal. And um, this is my least favorite. It's really hard to match this to anything. And it came with some tags, which you will see in this journal as I show it to you. But I use both of them, so they're both cut up right now, both pages. I got one more of these. Um, I guess there were three different um, types of cutouts. And that's another thing about these is it comes with lots of little um, cutouts for you to put into pockets and whatever. Okay, so here is the journal and uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I, I did use glitter. I didn't know how that was going to work out. It's the first time I've used glitter paper on this spine, and um, I really like it. This is this glitter really doesn't come off. This is from Michaels, also from the Recollections. Came from my stash, and I've had it forever. So I decided to go ahead and use it. Um, and like I said, it's it's pretty forgiving, and it worked out. And then I used. I bought a, um, a pack of cardstock papers from there, which was like $2.50, and it came with this um, sort of copper metallic paper, um, and so I used it, and this one doesn't show fingerprints. Some of that metallic paper does. This one doesn't. So um, the one with the copper, it comes with four sheets of copper uh, in pastel pink. Um, purple, blue, and cream. Okay, and so I have some... I'm still getting used to my camera, so I apologize. I can't see. <laughs> Alright, so I've got... I think this is um, in frame right here. Okay. Uh, I've got some glitter hearts here um, for the, you know, what are these called? For the signatures. <laughs> on um, kind of an aqua colored suede rope okay and then I've got um, this has been sealed I always seal these papers because um, it'll get dirty really quickly if you don't I've got um, a couple of paper tassels which I've, um, I've been making here lately they're really cute um, I've got a pinwheel which I made it's really simple 
this is a, and these are two cutouts from the, um, from the paper pad. I don't remember what these things are called. What, a viewer or something, okay. And, um, and then that's just cut out. And I added a tab and a heart, of course. place for paper clips right here that I added into there and I use the roller skate um, pastel roller skate paper of course on the inside and I've got a little cute little tag that I made round tag and a little envelope a mini envelope this is like a, um, a cabochon curly cabochon that I used and I got some here too. It's really pretty. Okay. And um, this is a pocket. I use a, um, I incorporate a lot of pockets in the journals. Um, so you can just stuff it, you know, tags and whatever everywhere. <laughs> this is a really cute tag that came with it. And this is a flip up actually, and I just went ahead and flipped that up also with that typewriter paper. And um, for this journal, except for um, these pastel papers and this copper paper um, and the craft paper, all of this came, so all the little cutouts came from that paper pad. I like this right here, which is made into a little card. I've also got a, a lot of little scallops here, and I included extra ones. Right here in this little bag pocket. vellum here and it's like a, a multi-pocket page <laughs> so each one of these are actual pockets you can stuff whatever now some retro cherries this is from a dye <laughs> I haven't had my Sizzix for long so I've been um, just kind of playing with it I've got a bunch of white journaling space right here. bunch of cute little glitter hearts in here. Sorry for not speaking a lot. I'm sitting here thinking about this headache that I have. Alright, so 
into the middle of the first signature, which I put a little moon and star on this one. <laughs> I made this into two pockets here. trimmed a lot of these pockets out with the glitter paper. This can be removed right here. If you don't. I left it. I didn't know. I if I wanted it or not. more white space. I've got a, a belly band. And there's a pocket right here. And I just put that in here. It's a cute little gold tag with a heart on it. And a scallop with typewriter paper. Some vellum paper in the other part of the bag, a little flower embellishment. Now I just got an extra piece of paper in that one. There's a couple of cute tags, and that's the end of this signature. Um, yeah, that's a pocket behind there. And then here's the beginning of the next signature. And this is actually a pocket. Yeah, so this paper pad came with the tags, these tags. So you just had to cut them out, and they're really cute. That cutout was already in there. The best things in life are free. to this paper yet. It's really cute. Um, the light bulbs. And I got a bunch of white journaling space again. And um, two extra sheets of, of the cardstock paper. And um, here is a pocket. Here's the light bulb paper. It's really cute. Wonderlust. It says it right there that's been cut off. Wonderlust. But that's the, uh, the name of this paper, I think. Okay, here's the middle of this signature with the, um, the glitter hearts. Here's a little pocket. Cute little 
journaling um, card. And the typewriter cut out. Like I said, all of this came from this paper bag. Now this, you know, the plain card stopped in. Here's more journaling space. They've got some other cute paper pads out there right now. Um, I don't know. I've, I've got several of them, and I know Uptown Chic. Um, it's really cute. That would make a super cute journal, and I plan on doing that within the month or so. Um, I think that I'm going to do um, a Dallas Cowboys one first for my sister. Um, but I plan on doing that into a tutorial, so. Um, so, anyway, uh, thanks for joining me today, and um, have a good day.